Hey, what's up everyone? I am back from the dead. I finally decided to just buy the license so I can make some more of these, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I thought I'd come back to you with a video about a problem I've had for a while, which starts, as all problems do, with Jamflex. So, a while back they released a collection log, as you all know, and that was a great update, you know? You can see everything you've earned in the game and uh, track your progress towards completing it, which created a ton of sweats who are trying to somehow grind out the whole thing. That's not my goal, but my problem was I'd already done a bunch on my character, and I'd pulled those drops before they released the log. So now I'm in the end game. I'm pulling stuff like Hydra Claws and Leathers, and then my CC, instead of throwing the GZs in the chat, they're like, how the hell did you max and you got 150 collection log slots? They're calling me an idiot instead. It's embarrassing. So I thought we'd address that in this video and run through some of the easiest possible collection log slots in this game. So without any more, let's jump into them. All right, so first things first, we're going to start off with the easiest of the easy here, the Fossil Island Notes. These are 10 slots that you can get in like five minutes, so long as you already have Numalite. Numalite you get from around Fossil Island just doing, you know, whatever you're doing. So pick up that. Uh, come here with some fat stacks of it. Not really, though. You only need, like, I'd say 2,000 is probably safe to get all 10 of these notes, maybe a little more. And you get this basically everywhere. So I've already done these. I just brought 500 to demonstrate. But go to any stone chest in this house. There's some downstairs, too. Hit insert 100 Numalite, and there's a chance that you'll take damage or... Um, maybe a couple other things, but then one of the chances is the notes, and you'll get a slot for that. Just keep doing it till you get all 10. You don't have to change chests. You can get all 10 from a single chest, so just keep shoving Numalite down this thing's throat, and eventually you'll get 10 slots. Shouldn't take more than, like, three minutes. All right, so next up we are going to do the Shazian armor. This is 25 slots and super quick. So maybe 10 minutes or so, we're going to come over to the Shazian encampment in this little battleground area. Bring some melee gear. You don't really need the best, but I decided to overkill it here. And you're going to talk to each of these soldiers. We'll start it out with the tier 1 guy. Say you want to fight him. It'll let me do it again, even though I have it. And then just demolish this kid. Send him home to his mother. And then go through, do tier 2, tier 3... Uh, all the way up to 5, and then you'll get 25 slots. This guy is way too strong against this god sword. It's actually embarrassing for me. But do that 5 times over, and you will be good to go. Okay, next we're going to go for the My Notes section. This one is actually kind of a bitch to get green logged, but it's really easy to get like 10 to 15 slots easily out of it. So the problem is you can get dupes, so getting that last couple, it can take several hours. But getting the first 10, 15, you know, an hour, maybe two if you're unlucky. So I got bored after nine there, but that probably only took me 30 to 40 minutes. You'll go into the Whirlpool in this barbarian area. Just bring some defensive gear and uh, dragon fire protection. Run down, and you're going to search three skeletons when you're down there. Each one of them has like a 1 in 12, 1 in 13, somewhere between that rate of dropping one of these notes. But again, you could get the dupe. So we will run through, here's the first one, defile his grave. You could also wear out your aggression timer and just search that skeleton there and world hop. Uh, I prefer to do it this way, it's just kind of preference. I think that, that way is a bit more efficient to wear out aggression, but I don't stay here too long anyway, I get bored pretty quick, so I just rummage through, that's the second, and here's the last one. All right, so nothing on that run, but you get three skeletons, one in like 12 and a half each. You should get it every four worlds or so. And you can just come up here, world hop, and uh, do it all over again. Now let's look at doing some easy clues. So you can come to the ham hideout and just pickpocket the ham members rapidly, and you'll get easy clues super quickly this way. I'd say um, maybe five minutes, if that, to get an easy clue on average. For me, uh, since I have high thieving, I never fail, so that obviously helps a lot. It'll depend on your level. But ultimately, you'll get an easy clue. You can do it real quick. 
And then I've stacked up 10 caskets here to show just how easy it is to get these rewards. But if I go to clues, easy, you can see I've done 33 and already got 12 slots. I got lucky with this team cape. But these 10 clues probably took me 45 minutes to do. Might take you a little longer if you have worse teleports available to you, but I can guarantee I'll get some slots with 10 clues right here. Yep, there's one. And that is just two slots, I think, from those. Oh wow, I guess I already had a bronze plate body G. So that's kind of unfortunate luck there. But if you do go through and you do those for a while, you'll definitely pick up these pretty quick. You can see before those 10 where I had shit luck, I had 12 slots off of 30. So that's gonna slow down your rate as you do more and more, but your first, say you do like 100, you should definitely be seeing you know 20 to 30 slots with that. Oh, and while we're on the subject of clues, I almost forgot, if you do just a couple of elites, you should get a third age full helm. So that's uh, one of the easiest slots in the game as well. Just do like 50 or so, and then you'll get a third age full helm, just like me. All right, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through, please do like, uh, comment, interact with the video. It really helps a lot and keeps me motivated. If you want to see a part two to this, let me know. This was just kind of the ones I thought of quickly offhand. And if you want to see any other kinds of videos, let me know. You know, channel is super small right now, so if I see basically anything down in the comments, odds are I'm going to make it just for you. So that's a perk of a small channel. Just let me know what you want to see. Appreciate it.